On this leg of Route 66, we will be driving the New Mexico portion of this iconic highway. Our first stop wasn't that far from the Texas-New Mexico border in the town of Tucumcari. I hope I'm saying that right. At this stop, you get a lot of bang for your buck. Although it's a free stop, so I'm not sure if that saying still works. In such a small area, there are so many retro buildings and signs, and some of them are really cool. This Blue Swallow Motel was one of my favorite Route 66 attractions. It was built in the 1940s and it still operates today as a motel. Besides being so cute, one of the other unique things about this motel is their garages. It's one of the last operating Route 66 motels that still has garages. Most of the other motels converted them into extra rooms. And there's Matt, reliving his youth as Marty McFly in Back to the Future. This is another nicely restored motel, and I read their rooms have some of the original mid-century furniture inside, and they also have rooms that have special celebrity themes. I, found out that it was true. I really liked their patio area that they designed with these retro ads. I think this one might be my favorite ad. A little bluebird just told me that you did love me. This TP Curios used to be a gas station and grocery store, and now it's one of the only remaining curio shops left in New Mexico. Our next stop, the Route 66 Auto Museum. This place kind of felt like home. I grew up in garages around all different types of car projects. For $5, you can walk around what feels like a car collector's garage with around 30 cars ranging in all different ages, makes, and models. This probably isn't a place for everyone, but if you like cars, it's definitely worth a stop. These signs were cracking me up. They have everything. Bajas, ponchos, chicken strips, Dairy Queen, pottery, t-shirts, fireworks, gas, guy stuff, girl stuff, cool stuff, yummy stuff. And did they mention fireworks? I don't know how it all fits in that building. So far 
we've seen a lot of Whiting Brothers signs, but this Whiting Brothers in Moriarty, New Mexico is the only remaining location still in operation. Although I think it was closed while we were there because he was repainting it. This next attraction isn't really a roadside attraction because it's literally on the road. It's called the Musical Highway and it's one of only 19 in the world. In 2014, National Geographic and the New Mexico Department of Transportation built a 490 yard stretch of road on Old Route 66 and it plays music when you drive over it at a certain speed. Of course, like many other things on Route 66, they've since abandoned it and it's missing an important part of the song but maybe you can guess the song still. And you have to go 45 for it to work. to stop and explore the area a little more, and this RV park we're staying at continues the Route 66 theme. They have six vintage trailers on display dating from 1956 to 1974. They are fully furnished inside, and you can actually get a key from the office and walk through them. We just peeked in the windows. This trailer reminded me of the one in the Lucille Ball movie, The Long Long Trailer. If you haven't seen that movie, you should because it's so cute and it definitely stands the test of time. They also have a retro hubcap tree on the property. As well as a wall of old advertisement signs. And even the office has some vintage items on display. on the South Plaza Street Northwest. Then your destination will be on the left. Our first stop in Albuquerque is Old Town. It was a very cute area. I don't know if it's always like this or if it was because of the situation our world has been in, but it was like a ghost town. It definitely felt different from the other towns, cities, and states that we visited so far on this trip. I really love these patios they have throughout Old Town. There's a few of these courtyards that have these pretty pathways and they're surrounded by beautiful adobe buildings. I think this one might be my favorite because of all the colorful flags. Actually, I think this one might be my favorite because of all the colorful paint.
Maybe this one's my favorite because it's so natural. This is Old Town Plaza. It's the birthplace of the city back in 1706. We're leaving Old Town and going back to the Route 66 theme. We're gonna see what we can find that's left of it in Albuquerque. I've always wanted to come to Albuquerque because Bugs Bunny used to talk about it all the time. So Route 66 originally ran north and south and then they changed it to east and west. So when Bugs Bunny should have taken a left, it's at this intersection that he gets confused. The chemo theater here on the newer part of Route 66 was built in 1927, and that's 10 years before Route 66 was even paved. This was just a random stop for a random mural. We stopped at Garcia's Cafe for lunch, and while it has the retro Route 66 style to it, it's actually newer than that. We stopped here just because we were really craving Mexican food after going so long without it, and this place had really good reviews. We had a few more Route 66 signs to see, and I think neon at night makes everything look cooler. It's time to leave Albuquerque and continue west on Route 66. Just a few miles down the road is this old bridge. It was built in 1933 and it's a great place to take photos.
the small town of San Fidel is this building built in 1916 as a general store, and it became a curio shop in 1937, selling only locally crafted items from the Acoma Pueblo to the tourists traveling on Route 66. Just another two miles up the road are these cool signs. We may have seen the Continental Divide many times before, but when we see a sign for it, we still stop. So far, we've gotten our kicks in Oklahoma City and Amarillo, so next up is Gallup, New Mexico. This stop was interesting. Matt decided to stay in the truck while I walked down the street and took pictures of all the different motel signs. This place looked like it could be really fun. It kind of reminded me of the Madonna Inn in California, except this one is in a pretty pink color. And that's it of Route 66 in New Mexico. Next, we will be continuing on it through Arizona up to Flagstaff, where we will then head south to Sedona for a few days. So hopefully we'll see you then. In a quarter mile, your destination will be on the left. Your destination is on the left.